Hey guys, my name is Hitesh and welcome to 3D Wolf. Today we are going to create some product modeling in Maya and we're going to render this model using Arnold and try to get as much high quality result as we can. So I'm using this image as my reference. You can also import this in your front view, but I'm going to use pure ref to look at my reference here. So as you can see that our model is a cylindrical shape. So I'm going to start with a cylinder and uh, just add a little bit of radius and height and now i'm going to go to edge mode and select this edge to create this round shape i'm going to bevel this so you can press ctrl b to bevel add some segments something like this and for this part what i'm going to do is i'm also going to select this edge and bevel again but this time i'm going to turn the chamfer off and maybe add more segments like this and i'm going to delete these two now for this part i'm going to go to my vertex mode select this vertex Turn on my soft selection by pressing B and you can uh, change this radius of selection by pressing B and uh, with your middle mouse button. So you have to press and hold the B on your keyboard and with your middle mouse button you can just change the radius of the selection. So I'm going to pull this up a little bit as you can see that we have a little bit of curve going on here. So I think... something like this now you can select this edge and use edit edge flow to maintain this curve maybe something like this go to vertex mode and Pull this up a little bit. And now I'm going to select these faces. And we're going to use these faces to create the pump part of the bottle. So let's press Ctrl E and add a little bit of offset. and extrude I'm going to delete these faces and uh, select these duplicate modify and center pivot go to edge more and uh, select this edge pull this up A little bit like this and then extrude by pressing shift and scale then one more time extrude maybe this is too much and A little bit of offset and extrude again. Just try to get this shape. And uh, one more time then scale to create this area. And uh, merge edges to center. And I think this looks good enough. You can go to vertex mode and increase the length of this part. I'm going to select this and pull this up. 
like this. And to create this nozzle, what I can do is uh, I'm going to add an edge split here, or you can uh, use multi cut tool or insert edge loop tool to add an edge loop. I'm going to pull this up, bevel it, and add a segment like this. Now I'm going to the left view and uh, select this part add a little bit of offset go to edit mesh and circularize to create this circular shape uh, do one thing if you go to circularize then change the alignment to surface per vertex it won't deform your shape so let's go to the front view and uh, extrude this part and uh, one more time and pull this down a little bit and rotate it like this maybe scale it down a little Delete these faces. And I'm going to select this part. Scale this down. Or what you can do is. You can add a little bit of. Thickness to this. Like this. And uh, now we work on the supporting edges so that we can hold this shape so we have two options we can either go back and add supporting edges now and then extrude or we can extrude now and then add supporting edges but uh, our work will cut down in half if we do it now so i'm going to go to these two edge loops and bevel Turn on the chamfer. Same for this one. Select this edge loop and bevel. So we are done with the supporting edges. So if I now extrude this just a little bit, then you'll see that we have supporting edges on the inside as well. So we don't have to work twice and uh, maybe two more down here if I press 3 now then you'll see that our shape is holding good we just need to add some support here and we are good to go and as for this part what you can do to hold this geometry you can take multi cut tool and add few loops like this and now you are good to go now let's repeat the same thing down here so i'm going to select this isolate it and select this part first add a little bit of bevel on the corners same thing here and 
down here so for this one i'm going to take multi cut and add one loop here and see if it works and i think it's looking good maybe a little bit up and uh, some here So we have this bottle now and I think we are done with the modeling so I'm going to go to edit delete by type history and uh, smooth these two a couple of times so let's add some subdivisions and uh, I think one looks pretty good same for this part smooth and we're good to go so we don't have to worry about the triangles because this is a product modeling but if you're going to show the wireframe you might want to convert these to quotes and get a proper topology and for that you just have to either select the alternate edges and delete or you can just uh, take multi cut tool and manually create the quotes up here and now every polygon is a quote polygon so if you smooth now and it might look a little bit weird but this is a core polygon geometry but there are a few more things that you can do so you can select all these edges delete take multi cut tool and uh, let's create a core polys now like this same thing goes here and now we are good so if i smooth it now then our topology looks much better and the same thing goes here so let's go here and division to zero if you delete by type history after smoothing then then you won't get this here so make sure you don't delete it you don't delete the history so now what i can do is i can select all these edges delete take my multi cut and repeat the same thing So now our topology is also looking great. I'm going to select this, click by type history, and let's start creating the material for it. So I'm going to go to front view and first let's go to outliner, select this and ungroup, rename it, bottle, and the other one is pump put them in a group and place it on the top of the grid all right so we are done with the modeling let's create the materials so i'm going to select this go to a new material arnold and take ai standard surface 
and I'm going to change the name of this material to bottle material and again take a new mat for this one and uh, rename it as for pump material now let's create a background and uh, some cylinders where these bottles can sit so i'm going to change the width and height to something like this and i'm going to assign a new material for this and rename it as background now let's go to front view again and create some cylinders I'm going to bevel the corners and add some supporting edges. And smooth. And now we are going to create the duplicates. I'm going to put this in this group. Select it. Create a duplicate. Place this one here and rotate it. And I'm going to apply the same material as the background. So for the lighting, uh, I'm going to take a dome light. So go to Arnold and uh, lights, then select this sky dome. And let's uh, use some um, render settings first. And we're going to go to system and we're going to use our GPU for the rendering. You can use either of them. So. I've selected the GPU and I'm going to increase the camera sampling to 4 for now. And go to common and we're going to leave everything to default for now. We are going to change the resolution in a final render. And uh, for the sky dome, I'm going to use an HDRI image and we're going to use this studio small. And I'm going to go to sky dome and uh, import my light in color so let's create a camera first so go to create camera and uh, select this 
go to panels and look through selected and we're looking through the camera now so we're going to set a camera angle turn on the resolution gate and and i think this is looking good i'm going to lock the camera here and this is going to be our final render scene so let's take a render now i'm going to go to arnold and click on this render and i'm going to change the view to camera and this is how our first render looks now we're going to change the material a little bit so for that i'm going to add uh, a denoiser first and for the bottle i'm going to select it go to material attribute and add some roughness to my diffuse something like this also change the color a little bit so i don't want it to be white so i'm going to change it to something like this also i'm going to turn down the specular weight to 0 0.6 and uh, now let's select this pump go to material attribute and uh, for this i'm going to change it to something like this and uh, we're going to increase the metalness a little bit i think 0 0.5 should be fine and i'm going to turn down the diffuse specular reference to 0 0.1 You can change the color a little bit to more brighter side. So I think this looks nice. Alright, so we have this base tender here. Now I'm going to create some more lights. I'm going to go to Arnold and light then use this area light scale this up again uh, go to panels look through selected and I'm going to place this light here like this and I'm going to turn off the normalize and change the color a little bit something cooler and increase the exposure to p now i'm going to go to top view and change the pivot of this light to center of the grid so that we can rotate this and place it on the other side and i'm going to just rotate it a little bit to this side and create a duplicate and place one here and uh, for this i'm going to turn off shadow uh, maybe not this one and i'm going to change the color to something warm and i'm going to create a duplicate again so press shift d and create four more lights like this and maybe this one here 
and I'm going to turn off the shadows for these two on the back. Select this pump and go to material attribute. Turn down the metalness and maybe a little bit of diffuse roughness. Make it a little darker. So I think uh, these values looks fine. And for the presentation, what I can do is I can create some spheres like this. maybe scale it down and duplicate and we're going to assign the same material to them as we did on the bottle and the background i'm going to assign this to pump and this one to bottle and this one background let's change our uh, camera so i'm going to go to perspective and select this camera unlock it and lock again i'm going to select these three and move it to the right a little bit and now you can also change the color of the bottles if you want so if you go here and uh, go to material attribute so for example if you want your bottle to be red you can go here and change the color make them red like this or any other color so i think i'm pretty happy with the white bottles or a slightly cream So this is the final render let's change the resolution i'm going to go to render settings and image size i'm going to take 1080p and increase the samples to 5 and uh, render again So this is the final output. So I'm going to finish this video here and I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.